Hello, Gooder here. In this video, I'm going to go over some more gameplay tips for Hogwarts Legacy. As always, there's going to be timestamps in the video description. So let's get started. You unlock trades by clearing bandit camps and castles. Do Merlin trials and redeem the challenges once you complete them to increase your gear cap. The consumable item cap is 25 Wiganwell potions and 12 of each other item. Your Revelio range is significantly further while riding a broom. While talking about riding your broom, you can also pick things up while riding your broom. You don't have to dismount. And there's a lot of things out in the world that may require you to traverse obstacles. And you can just easily fly over them while on the broom. It only costs one Neasel fur to add a level 3 trait to a piece of gear, so I highly recommend getting Neasels as soon as you can. Don't forget to pet and feed your beast so that you can stock up on the magical resources that you'll need later when you need to upgrade your gear. Try not to upgrade your gear until the gear is around the level cap of 114, so you don't waste any of those precious magical beast resources. While you cast Accio and moving an object around, if you move in the left-right directions, the player will automatically change the spell to Wingardium Leviosa, making it much easier to manipulate. If you find that you're running low on Horklump juice, it can be found in most caves. There is a cave north of Hogsmeade named Horklump Hollow that normally has around 14 that you can get. While you're in your vivariums, don't forget to explore a bit. There are materials as well as spellcraft chests in there. The contents of all chests are randomized, so if there's a particular piece of gear you've been missing, you can always save, open the chest, and then if you don't get the item you want, just reload the save and try it again. Arresto I found the best way to capture beasts is to cast Arresto Momentum or Glacier on them to slow them down. On that topic, immediately after casting the spell, quickly use your knapsack to maximize the amount of time you have. And remember that you can move while using the knapsack to place yourself in a much better position once the beast is able to move again. And if you know that you're not going to capture the beast before it starts moving, you can always try to cancel the knapsack as soon as possible so you can cast the Arrest of Momentum or Glacier on them again. When using any table as multiple spots, like a potter's or potions tables, you can press the arrow button to quickly move to the next spot. There are some collectibles and challenges that will not remain marked on your map once you discover them, like landing pads, butterflies, and hedge mazes. When you find these, I would recommend completing the landing pads and butterflies and making note of the hedge maze locations for later, since they always have a guaranteed legendary chest. Well that's it for the more gameplay tips video. If there's any more you'd like me to add on, please let me know.